Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss question and answers of the chapter Natural Disasters. In this, we will be covering various topics like volcanoes, tidal waves, droughts, etc. So, let us immediately start with the first question which is tick the correct answers. So, first in the list of tick the correct answer is structures shatter, buildings shake, roads crack and communication fails during the options are spring, winter, earthquakes, summer. So, what is the correct option? The correct answer is earthquakes. Okay, because it is during earthquakes that there is loss of property and lives also. Second question. Those who study earthquakes are called geologists, seismologists, astronomers, astrologers. So, what is the correct answer? The obvious answer for this is seismologist. Okay. So, seismologists generally study earthquakes. Let us see next question. Third, the drought of the century in the history of India was in 1904-05, or 2008-2009. Well, the correct answer for this is 1986-87. Because it was in this year that India had faced a major drought. Fourth question. Dash is a famous volcano. The options are Mount Vishwius, Kutch, Bhuj, Latur. So what is the correct answer? Mount Vishwius is a famous volcano. So the correct option is option A. Then write T for true or F for false. So if it is true, then you have to write T and if it is false, then you have to write F. So let us see the first question. The layers of the earth under the plates are stationary. Is it true or false? Well, it should be false because under the earth's surface, these layers which are also called as tectonic plates, they are in constant motion. They are constantly moving. Okay. So, the answer stationary is not correct. Okay. So, it has to be false statement. A seismograph consists of a frame, a spring, a stone, drum, paper and a pen. Well, this should be true. Because, yes, seismograph has all these things attached to each other. Then third question. When magma is below the earth's surface, it is called lava. It has to be false because it is rather reverse. So, when lava is inside earth's surface or below earth's surface, that is called as magma. Okay, so it has to be a false statement. Fourth question, tidal or storm waves are also called tsunamis. Well, this has to be true because yes, when these tidal waves occur, they are in very large size and are also called as tsunamis. Then fifth is drought is caused by the moisture in the air. Well, this is false because drought occurs mainly because of dry air and not because of moisture in the air. So the answer is false. Then next question is write short answers. Here the first question is what are earthquakes? Here you will write an earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground caused by movements or vibrations deep inside the earth. So it is because of this movements or vibration inside the earth that causes earthquakes. Second question what is magma? Here you will write when lava is below earth's surface it is called magma. Third question, what is a tsunami? Here you will write, a tsunami are a tidal or a storm waves caused by an undersea earthquake or by severe hurricane or cyclone. So whenever these major calamities occur, there can be tsunami. 
especially because of earthquake or because of some volcanic eruptions beneath the seabed and it can also occur because of hurricane or cyclone let us see fourth question name three active volcanoes well the answer for this is mount vesuvius mount etna mount erebus mount fuji these are some famous active volcanoes now let us see some long answers what is a seismogram here you will write the seismograph consists of a frame a spring a stone a drum paper and a pen the next point you will mention as the earth trembles the spring moves the pen over the paper wrapped on the drum and last point you will write this reading or pattern obtained on the paper is called seismogram okay so these are some points that you will mention in a question what is seismogram let us see second question how do earthquakes affect the earth and its people here you will write when there are earthquakes the ground shakes and houses buildings and bridges shake then when an earthquake lasts for some time structures shatter roads crack and communication system collapse there is loss of life and property i will repeat the answer when there are earthquakes the ground shakes and so houses buildings and bridges also shake when an earthquake lasts for some time structures shatter roads crack and communication system collapse also there is loss of life and property so this is what happens when there are earthquakes okay so these are the points that you will mention for a question how do earthquakes affect earth and its people third question how do volcanoes erupt name three types of volcanoes here you will mention a volcano occurs when lava from deep within the earth rushes out through a weak spots in the crust so whenever there are weak spots in the crust volcano might erupt from there then you will mention there are three types of volcanoes first one active volcano second dormant volcano and third is extinct volcano well the fourth question is how does a tsunami affect human life here you will write tsunamis cause destruction on the seashore within seconds then you will mention this giant waves travel at a speed of around 800 kilometers per hour then you will write this results in destruction of life and property in the area and last point you will mention tsunamis can have a devastating effect on human lives they can destroy homes change landscapes hurt economies spread disease and kill people so students these are the effects that tsunamis have on human life let us see next question what is drought name the conditions that cause drought here you will write if a particular area receives no rain or less rain than normal for a long period it is said to be affected by drought then you will mention however it is not only the lack of rainfall that causes drought hot dry winds very high temperature and evaporation of moisture from the ground can result in the conditions of drought okay so these are the causes behind drought it is not only rainfall but hot dry winds very high temperature evaporation from the ground surface can also cause drought okay then sixth question how do people suffer in drought affected areas here you will write water is scarce in drought affected areas when this happens crops don't grow as a result many people and animals may die of a mine or lack of food then you will mention people have to wait for help to come in the form of food water and medicines from neighboring places or international agencies okay so students when drought occurs people don't get food to eat okay they don't have enough money also so they have to depend on the neighboring places or regions or some international agencies so students that was all from my side 
If you have any question, please feel free to ask. You can put your comments in comment box. See you during next session with a new topic. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.